Hey guys, what's up? This is Chrissy with Everyday Tippets. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about Color Street. So I was very skeptical at first and I was like, what are these things? Stickers for your nails? Like what the heck? But a coworker of mine sells it. She gave me a sample. I tried it and I still was skeptical because I found that after a few days it was like chipping off. But I am a paramedic. I'm very rough on my hands between cleaning, cooking, and all the things i'm super super rough on my nails um so with that being said i had to find the right top coat and once i found the right top coat it was a game changer from there so what i use is this opi plumping top coat there are several different other alternatives and um i think one's called cerave i'll link it below but there is, um, this one's about $10 a bottle, and the other one I believe is about $7 a bottle. And the stylists, I think they call themselves stylists. I don't know if they're stylists or if they're consultants. I am not a stylist consultant. I don't sell Color Street. This video is not sponsored. So this, this video is based on my experience, my opinion. I am a paramedic, like I said. I'm a healthcare worker, and I'm cleaning and cooking all the time, and I'm rough on my nails. So I'm going to just show you and review how I do my nails, how I keep them looking good in the time that I'm wearing them, and my opinion on things, the things that I use with my manicure, and just my opinion overall on Color Street. So, I'm going to read the statement from, this is the, this is the brand's marketing coordinator, Hannah Parks, and this is how she describes what Color Street is. So. Color Street is real nail polish that's been dried down onto a strip for an easy, mess-free manicure with no dry time, says Hannah Parks, the brand's marketing coordinator. It's a salon quality manicure, base coat, color coat, and top coat that you can apply in one step without worrying about streaks or smudges. Another question people might have is, how long does it last? Well, the general consensus is that it lasts about 10 days. But I've seen people where it lasts longer, two weeks. It all depends on how you take care of your nails. Um, Color Street is real strips of nail polish. They are supposed to last about 10 days without chipping. So, they are not vinyl like other brands. They are 100% nail polish. When done properly with remover and they aren't just pulled off and peeled off, Color Street does not damage your nail like acrylics do. So. I forever have never been able to grow my natural nails, ever, like from when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I used to be a nail biter. So as an adult, I started to get my nails done regularly, like every two weeks. And that cost adds up. I was getting acrylics and gel and everything. And it's anywhere from like 30 up to $50 every two weeks. And that's a huge chunk out of my monthly budget. So you're talking like, you know, anywhere from 80 to $100 to get your nails done, and your feet on top of that, another $25, because you can use Color Street on your feet. So, I am a big fan, huge fan. Once I found the right top coat, I was hooked. So, I'm just gonna show you the manicure that I'm going to do today, show you how to apply it, and I'm going to show you how I take off my current manicure, which is also done with Color Street. So these, this is one of their new collections from their, um, their retro collection, and this is called No Duh. I don't know if I'm going to get this to focus, but this is called No Duh, and I'm going to do an accent nail with Himalayan salt. It's a pink. Um, Aspen Sky, which is a blue. And then this is Glitter Sweet. I've already opened it and sealed it, and I will show you later on in the video how to seal your color street. Um, packages so that you can make your nails last longer for the next manicure and also this is clear as day these are just clear nail strips I'm going to use this on a few of my nails as well so that's the manicure I'm going to do today I'll show you the tools that I'm going to use for my manicure now this was a little trial and error for me. I belong to two different nail groups with two different stylists I think they're called stylists two different stylists um, so I've picked up tricks and tips along the way, and this is what I'm going to share with you. To get the nail polish off, 
you want to do it gently. You don't want to just pick at your nail and peel it off because you're going to peel off your enamel. You're going to peel your nail. It's going to look like crap and it's not going to be a smooth finish for when you do your nails again. So you want to do this gently and you want to do it the right way. You can use a cotton ball and just regular nail polish remover and you can sit there and scrub it off. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. That's going to take forever, really, um, because it is like a sticker type with real nail polish and especially if you have anything with glitter, the glitter is just, it's gonna take forever to do it that way. And if you have time, by all means do it. Um, but I found that the easiest way, and it's like no effort at all, and it's the easiest, most quick way that I have found to get this nail polish off is to use a cotton ball, soak it in your nail polish remover, Use these handy dandy little nail clips and just kind of clip the nail polish soaked cotton ball onto your finger like this and let it soak for about 10 to 20 minutes. I found that 20 minutes is the ideal time and I've done trial and error. Like I said, I've done five minutes, I've done 10 minutes. Um, if you're, the less time you have, the more like elbow grease you're gonna to have to put into it when you take it off but I found that 20 minutes is like the magic number for me 20 minutes and then basically when you take it off sometimes the cotton ball will stick to your finger but if you just go like this whoop, the nail polish will come right off your finger so this little extra step and these cost about five to seven dollars for a pack of ten so worth the investment so worth the time that it takes to just go boop boop and then clip it on to get your nail polish to come right off, seriously. So I would highly recommend doing that. So this is how I take it off. And then before you do your nails, um, I wash them real good. I use a nail brush, scrub underneath, make sure everything's good. And then I use a nail filer to shape them. Now some people do shape them with the old manicure on, um, and I usually do that because it's just, your nail's a little bit more solid with the color street, the color street on it. So they're a little bit stronger and they can handle the filing. So I'm gonna take the filer and just shape my nails, which I do consistently throughout my mani. If I snag it on something, if I have a little chip, if, if something happens where I just need to take the nail filer out, I keep one in my purse, I keep one in my bag at work, because if you have a little like snag, you wanna take care of that right away. Snag and, and file that off so you don't rip your nail and break it all the way. You can usually save most snags by keeping a nail filer on you. So after you shape them, take your nail polish off, wash your hands. Before you start your new manicure, you're gonna to wanna to take an alcohol swab and then wipe all of your nails to get all the oils from your fingers off your nail pads. And that's gonna help the nails the color streets stick to your nails a lot better. So once you've done that, you're ready to apply. So each one of these packs come with two strips of nail polish and I can usually do one manicure with one set. Um, once your nails get a little longer, you're getting into like, you're gonna have to use more. But if your nails are on the short side, you can definitely cut them in half this way and use half on one side and then half on your other nail, the same nail on the other hand. So it's very efficient. Each one of these packs is about $13, $13 for a manicure that lasts 10 days. Compare that to a $40 manicure that you were getting every two weeks. And it's, I'm telling you, it's like money saving. They all look so good. There's so many different designs. I'm completely hooked. I'm like, I set my timers when there's a new launch and I'm like one of the first ones in there to get my new nails when there's a new launch. I'm addicted. So you can usually get two full manicures out of one set for $13 and it's, it's crazy. But anyway, once you get them on your nails, that's when you use your, your thumb or your forefinger to kind of perforate the sides and get the polish off. You could also use this tool, which is amazing. There's a little rubber tip to it. This thing is amazing. It's a cuticle tool. You can go push it on, you can go around the edges, and then on the end, there's a cuticle trimmer so that you can also use this to trim off any excess color from the color sheet strip. So once you shape your nails and everything's on properly, wonderful, you're done. You can take the extra step and put the clear as day over the nail and that's your top coat right there. 
But even with doing this, I definitely like to use the OPI plumping and go over the whole manicure. So once your nails are done, do not wash your hands, do not do dishes, do not take a shower, do not do anything for a little bit. Let the nails cure. So when they cure, they're gonna shrink a little bit on the top. So when you're doing your nails, make sure that you use a little bit of extra off the end of your nail and use this little tool to tuck it in. Tuck it in. It's gonna look weird. There's gonna be a little bit of extra polish under there. But after your nails have fully cured, they're gonna be dry, guys. You can still like do stuff, you know? It's not like you're chained like a regular manicure waiting for your nails to dry. They're dry. You just have to be careful with them. Once they're fully cured, you can actually like file off that extra or you can use this little tool to cut it or you could just like, you know, pick it off with this thing and run it, run it under your nail. It's, it's that easy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my nail polish off. I'm gonna show you up close. I, I don't know how good I can get. This, this is a 10 day old manicure, 10 days. And like I said, I'm super, super rough on my nails. So you can see this one broke because I was trying to open something with my nail, which is a big no-no, and then it chipped. So that's a big no-no. I chipped this one today because I was trying to open a package with my nail again, big no-no, can't do that. But anyway, the rest of them, for being 10 days old, look pretty darn good, I should say. They look really, really good. So um, I also made a big mistake by doing my nails first and then doing my toes right afterwards. And I used my four fingers, you know, as my tools and my thumbs as my tools. So you can see the edges. I don't know if I can get it to focus. You can see the edges are a little chipped on the end and that's my own fault. No manicure before has ever done that to me. So if you're gonna do your toes, do your toes first, then do your nails. That's all I can say. Another thing is, um, these are, this, the nail polish I have on now is Drop the Ball, Chelsea you later, and polka.com. And then I did a layer of Glitter Sweet over the whole thing. So there's three layers on my nails. So to me, two layers is great because it gives it just that extra little strength to your nail. And then, um, but you can see as it grows out, I don't know if I could get it to focus here. As it grows out, there's going to be, um, they're gonna be thick. So on the edges of your cuticle line, um, they're gonna stick up a little bit. So when it does that, it's kind of, it causes like an annoying phenomenon where you run your hair, your fingers through your hair or anything else your nail polish is gonna get caught on it. It's gonna snag your hair and it's gonna hurt your hair and it's gonna be annoying. So a way that you can deal with that and let your manicure last a little longer is to use Q-tips and pretend this is a Q-tip. You dip your Q-tip in your nail polish remover and you just smooth the edges out. You smooth the edges out and that works. You can smooth the edges out and then just put a top coat over it just to make sure that everything's you know, shiny and smooth. And that's how you can get that little annoying thing to last a little bit longer. So with all this jibber jabber about telling you what it is and how it works, let's get my nail polish off so we can get the new Manny on. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can get you off my mind. Ooh girl, nah, nah. Ooh girl, nah, nah. Baby girl, don't need to flex. Dance to the rhythm and you do all the rest. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and now I'm going to take the nail polish off. Oh my goodness, guys, look, see? It comes right off. It comes right off, barely any scrubbing. You might have to do just a little bit if you have a glitter, but look at that, it just comes right off. So what I like to do is put everything, oops, I don't like anything to touch my granite. So I'm just gonna take the clips off and put them in the lid of my supply box. So that way I can just dump it into the trash. It came right off. Look at that. It's so easy. Um, it's 
a little bit of a struggle to like function when you have these things on your fingers, but to me, like I said, it, it's worth it. In the last clip, I know you saw me struggling towards the end. Uh, sometimes I have my daughter help me, but she's busy at the moment, so I didn't want to bother her with that. But I just wanted to show you that you can do this. It's like super easy. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it comes right off. Very little elbow grease to get the nail polish off. So we're just gonna continue to do this. So I'm not gonna lie and tell you that it's not sticky. It, it is sticky. So you're gonna get like parts of the nail on your skin and it's very easy to remove. All you're gonna do is take your cotton ball and just go over the areas on your skin with the nail polish remover that are sticky with polish. Not really a big deal. Um, the glitter is actually the one that does this the most, but for the most part, um, if you don't flip over the cotton ball when you're taking off the little nail clips, you're not gonna get that as much. But I did get some on my skin. Like I said, not a big deal. It comes right off with the nail polish remover and the cotton ball. So once I'm done, just scrubbing most of the polish off, I'll go over to the sink and wash my hands so that I can prep for polish. So, not a big deal. Okay, so I'm all set up to do my nails. I've washed my hands, I have shaped them, and now I'm gonna take this alcohol swab and just clean off the oils on the nail beds. Okay, um, as you can see to the my left, I have lined up the colors and I've already measured uh, the strip that would best fit the nail that I want to put those colors on. So I have my Himalayan Salt, my Aspen Sky, my Glitter Sweet, and my... Uh, I forgot what that was called. It's one of the new... Um, it is called No Duh. Okay, so I have my No Duh. And... So like I'm just gonna clean off the alcohol. All right, so I also have clear as day for the uh, patterns. So um, room temperature is is best, but I like to like warm my hands up a little. This is a rice, um, one of those rice packs that you can put in the microwave and then I can lay it on top of my nails too to warm them up a little bit on top of the strips. So I use a scissor, I cut the ends off, of the seal and when you first open the pack they're gonna come out like this lined up perfectly now to get them back in the package is kind of a pain in the butt as a full set like this so what I do is I usually cut them in pairs so that I can slide them back in the bag easier and then they fit nicely and they don't get caught on um, on the sides of the bag I'm just gonna slide this out, and I'm only gonna use the, the pattern ones because I'm going to accent the pattern with my Himalayan Salt and my Aspen Sky. So I'm gonna put these off to the side and just warm them up for a minute. And since, since I have these warmed already, um, I'm gonna start with one of the pink ones. So, I have a little moisture in there, so I'm just gonna take those out. They're like sweating a little. Usually they don't do that. Not sure why they're doing that today. But anyway, probably because my counters are really cold and the, um, the hot pack is hot. So I'm gonna peel off. There is a, um, a, clear, a clear thing on top. You can see by the purple tab. There's a clear protective layer on top. And what I do is I take it by the silver layer and I put it halfway on and then that way I can use this as like a little like handle to guide the color onto my nail. I don't like to put it too far close to the edge because then it'll peel off the silver edge and that's my handle for the other side. 
So you're just gonna nail it up. You're gonna line it up close to the end of your nail. And if it's not perfect, don't worry about it because you can stretch it. You can take it off and peel it back on. And um, you know, this is a solid, which is like a little harder to do than the glitters. However, the um, glitter suite's gonna go over it. So any imperfections are really not gonna be noticeable. So if you're new to solids like me, I'm still new to solids. I am not perfect at this. So don't judge me for those of you who are like color street, like um, experts out there. I'm going to try to do two with this one. Um, I do have a backup one down there just in case I can't do two with this. So I'm just going to smooth it out. Try to tuck some of it under. And like I said, it is not perfect. I, I'm not perfect with the solid yet. I can't seem to be perfect with the solid yet, but you're gonna smooth it out as much as you can around the edges, tuck what you can underneath. There's the first nail. And then I'm going to turn it over and see if I can't get the other nail on the other finger covered with the same strip, because that would be great. Then I can put the other one back in the package. So you peel off the little bottom strip and then you line it up with the other side and it's like a perfect, you know, I don't have to use that other one I have set aside. So that's how we're doing, that's how we're doing this. And they just stick right on and they're like, you know, mostly dry, so you can touch them. You can smooth them out. If you have anything off on the side, you can use your thumbnail to, um, you know, come in and correct it and trim it. So you can see that I'm tucking the access underneath the nail, that I'm digging in my thumbnail and pulling off the access. So it is not perfect, but it's going to look better once the glitter suite is over it. So there's two nails done. Now I'm gonna do the rust. Okay, now that the nails are all done and applied, I'm just going to finish it off with a coat or two of this OPI plumping top coat. Well, move on, I know worries, no doubts. This 
this is my time. Now I'm gonna show you how you seal your bags when you're done so that you can keep your nail strips <laughs> fresh. My friend gave me this um, tool. I, for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to use it. I'm gonna have to bring it into work tomorrow and ask her to show me how to use this thing. But in the meantime, I do have a straightener that works pretty well. So what you wanna do is just make sure everything's in there and then you just melt the top with the straightener and that seals the bag. So you keep them fresh for next time. No air gets in, your polish strips will not dry out and it's, it's two are stuck together. There's a little <laughs> gel thing on there, but that's how I do it, it works. I'm gonna have to ask my friend to explain to me how to use that thing because it would be awesome because it runs on batteries then I have to plug in my hair straightener every time I want to do this. So, that's how you do it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. I hope you guys try Color Street because if you did, you will not regret it. This stuff is awesome. Look at these cool nails. Retro 80s pop. I just love them. So. The good thing about the OPI nail polish topper is that it doesn't really take that long to dry. And the, um, the nails are already pretty much dry. So if you didn't do the top coat right away, you'd be able to like, you know, do whatever you have to do. But if you wanna put the top coat on, you're gonna have to wait a few minutes for that to dry. But it doesn't take that long. So anyway, I love Color Street. I hope you guys try it. Um, if you could, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me over there on Instagram <laughs> at everyday underscore tidbits because I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube and Instagram family. I also have a Facebook at everyday tidbits. That's new. So I hope everyone's being safe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.